Hey Virgo, I'm gonna do your weekend reading here. Let's see what messages come up for you for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which will be January 5th, 6th, and the 7th. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on. So, okay, you're starting with some separation. Um, sadness, someone's missing you, thinking about you, yearning, feeling unsure of the future. Okay, let's see what's going on with that. Someone's missing you over this weekend, Virgo, beginning on Friday. What is the message? Oh, yeah. See, feeling heartbroken, temperance in the reverse. So there's a sense of um, imbalance here, feeling unstable. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Let's see. Maybe there's an argument. You might have had an argument with someone. Or there may be a divorce or a separation. Uh, somebody might be away getting some type of surgical procedure of some sort. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Or it's you. You might be having this done. And there's just this energy of feeling kind of like lost without you. Un unbalanced. Like not in alignment is how I feel. Let me see what else is going on here. What else is going on? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe some of you have gone back or left if you were home for the holidays or if someone you spent time with someone over the holidays there's a separation now the holidays are ended and everybody's gone back to their whatever they're doing okay so there is just this feeling of heartbroken heartbrokenness okay um family missing you as well Let's see, um, uh, someone that you could be married to if you're in a marriage and then there's a divorce or a breakup or a separation. That person is missing you, Virgo. All right, let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, yeah, somebody had to leave and they had to leave fast. Let's see here. There was a cutoff. Somebody had to, like, escape from wherever they were. I don't know what the heck that means, but there is this um, running away. So somebody might have run away from a relationship. And I don't know so much about regret, but, or there was, a, just a decision that was made somebody made, that made some kind of oh wow got the six of cups for some of you it could be a sibling or uh someone that you have past memories with um yeah there's somebody definitely missing you virgo i feel like that's the overall message here starting on Sa uh, friday um this person whoever they are thinking about you they're yearning for you. They're not sure what the future holds between the two of you. They just, you know, kind of want to have, maybe there was a reunion. Some of you might have had a reunion or a reconciliation. There is this, they want that, you know, they're just like, there's a feeling of sadness. Um, you know, it's crazy because the seven of swords can represent deceit or betrayal or someone's stealing or something um i they are telling me that there's someone that feels like you stole their heart and swept them away they're just like they just think about you um or they will be on friday just thinking about the time you spent together i feel like over the holidays um you know the past the time you spent together in the past really missing you so virgo let's see let's try to see who this could be the only major arcana so far is sagittarius so let's see now remember these messages could be for virgo sun moon rising or venus and take them as they resonate okay 
It, whatever you and this person had together, for them it felt real. For them it was real. Gosh, yeah. You spent some time with someone over this, this holiday period. There's three reunion cards here. I mean, I feel like whoever this person was that you spent time with really wanted so much to be with you. Even if, even if you didn't spend time with them over the holiday, they really wanted it. They really wanted to be able to. Maybe they couldn't. They had to leave or something like that. I feel like Friday, though, I don't know if it's kind of like, I mean, I feel like they just have you on some kind of a pedestal. You're really like the real deal for them. You're the real thing. Who is this person for Virgo? Gosh, Ten of Cups. Wow. I, I feel like this person, Virgo. You make them so happy. Like, this person just feels so much pleasure and contentment and joy with you. Their ideas and plans, I feel like you you and this person are going to either reconcile or reunite again, maybe in the future. Well, obviously in the future. <laughs> um, but I mean, maybe, maybe in March of 2024. Let's see. There will be like you and this person coming back together. There's the magician. For some of you, it could be a Gemini or another Virgo. I mean, the magic is going to happen. I do see that you guys are going to be together. And I feel like um, they're thinking about this over this weekend, making their plans, really taking it seriously about connecting with you. Um, March seems like such a long time. So for those of you that are in some kind of a long distance thing, that might, that might work. But for those of you um, who are not, and this is someone that, you know, you guys have easy access to, um, I do feel like they're saying by the end of January, the end of January, an opportunity for you and this person to, um, they're saying reunite have some kind of reunion, get together, drinks, fun. Okay, yeah. I mean, this person just fantasizes about you. That you're, this, you, you are in their dreams. <sighs> She's just a fantasy. Yeah, this is, this is definitely happening here, Virgo. I'm trying to ask if for a court card to see if we can find out specifically who this could be for you. But they keep trying to tell me the story. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the rest of the story. It just keeps playing out that this person, um, they're definitely going to make plans. Bring the gift of themselves. <laughs> you know, um, I feel like this, I feel like there might be some kind of financial struggle. You know, maybe after the holidays, everybody's broke. Got to get back to work and try to make that money again. And this person, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle until you guys come together. But I do feel like you will. The plans will be made. Two of Wands. Decisions getting made to come together. Okay. The Hanged Man. Just be patient. So that's Pisces energy. There's the Knight of Cups. Okay. Okay first court card queen of wands so for some of you specifically it's a fire sign leo aries sagittarius specifically okay um or if you are on the cusp of leo virgo or if you have fire aries leo or sag somewhere in your chart or is dominant in your chart um either way there's going to be like a love proposal that gets made when you and this person come back together so maybe you're going to remarry after a divorce or reconcile um, or just come back together after a separation okay so I kind of feel like your message here with the hanged man is just to you know try to see things differently if you choose like if you if that's something you want try to see it differently try to focus on the positive if this is something that you want okay if it's not you know, don't listen to me. You know, it doesn't change how this person's feeling. But if it's not something that you want, um, 
you know, by all means, do your own thing, you know, and if you have to say to this person, no, I'm sorry, don't want that, but, you know, well, let me just ask for some of you what your, what, what is it that Virgo wants from this? What does Virgo want from this? Ooh. You want the real deal to come through and you're, you're, you'll be patient enough to wait if it's, I kind of feel like it's, um, they're giving me this phrase, if I can't have you, I don't want you. Like if I can't have the real thing with you, then I don't want you or that I don't want it. Okay. So I feel like, um, you'll be patient if you know if this is something that you want it looks like you're you're patient you're patient enough to wait for it for the the, the real opportunity to come in with someone to reconcile or to have some kind of reunion get back together especially after if there's been a separation whether that's like um, an emotional separation a physical one um, a mental distance i mean i can definitely tell you this person they're thinking about you this weekend they were really sad because you're not together and they're really missing you. Okay, Virgo, so now you have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Okay, I wonder if this is a similar message to this person who's missing you. Let's take a look. All right, you've got the Ten of Cups again. Okay, Virgo. So, you know, I've been saying <laughs> that 2024 was going to be your year for love, for you and the person that you love, or even for some of you meeting someone new, having that, you know, joy, happiness, happily ever after kind of thing. I definitely feel that energy playing out here. So Saturday, it looks like so far... Um, this is going to play out, okay? So you have five of wands, queen of queen of pentacles, okay? So it could be um, another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Virgo, <laughs> it's so funny, but I have to point this out because I just saw this and they said, "Virgo, you you are surrounded by turkeys. <laughs> you just are." And I feel like someone's going to show up on Saturday. Um somehow and it looks like maybe you're gonna have to like there might be some competition i feel like you're gonna have to either choose who's gonna be the better suitor for you okay um you're open and you know willing to welcome the person for you to get together with the person for you um so there's either some, if you're dating, there may be some competition or, you know, I don't feel like conflicts. It's more like, um, kind of like a war of the roses <laughs> a little bit, you know, like, okay, competing those, you might be getting a lot of messages or from, um, some potentials. Um, one of them could be mixed in with someone in particular, that you have a, it could be an, an earth sign in particular that you have a thing for. Um, you might be trying to decide on Saturday, should you go out with someone? Um, if you have another person in your heart, should you, if something's not working out, should you date someone else or a few others? Get together, see how things go, keep your options open. Let me see. Okay, the Ace of Swords, you have the Three of Pentacles, you have Judgment. Yeah, I kind of feel like, Virgo, you're picky. <laughs> you're picky. You're a picky, picky person. Um, I don't get this because... Either there's someone that you really have in your heart that maybe something's not working out and you're thinking maybe you'll just keep your options open and date others, but then there's other suitors that come in and you might be extremely picky and narrow it down to like <laughs> a maybe for just one, which leaves you like really with no options. Um, you're super judgmental about who 
you want to spend your time with and who is going to meet your needs. Not judgmental, like in the sense of like you're going to criticize someone. It's just more like you get to know or you talk to someone and it's like, I think you might be comparing to a past relationship or someone else. You know, but I do feel like you will initiate some communication um, in like in return, or you might actually initiate or put yourself out there. But that Three of Pentacles makes me feel like you do want to learn um, about what your options are, different people on Saturday, but it has to be the one that's you know like you're just very picky you're okay with getting together maybe and just having a drink or something or dinner or something or, or you know accepting an invite but you're not going to give your heart so this person has to have the key to your heart right so you're 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 quite picky about you know who you who you want to spend the rest of your life with or you know what i mean like i mean it just your your partner your companion that kind of thing. So I do feel like there's going to be some options over this weekend, but you're definitely going to fine tooth comb it for sure. These other people, I don't know if you're going to accept any offers or not. You might. Let me see what else. So um, as far as major arcana, the only thing you have here is Scorpio. Let's see what else this Virgo needs to know for Saturday. Oh, there's death card Scorpio there's a king of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius and the moon wow okay Pisces energy well if you're taking on the energy of the king of swords with that ace of swords you're definitely uh, being very picky you're gonna squash put the kibosh <laughs> on anyone that you don't feel like is going to be up to par to what you're seeking um and you're definitely not dealing with any shady characters for sure you will you know put the kibosh on any kind of shady behavior um but there may be a king of swords showing up who is ready for a new beginning you know masculine or feminine on saturday that you might talk to but they seem to be a little like cold they don't really reveal much in the way of emotion. Okay, so I feel like that person's going to stand up the most for you. Let's see. But is this person going to be... I mean, there's going to be a lot of sweet communication over this weekend. You know, flirty. It feels like fun, flirty messages. Um... But Virgo, I just can't look at you. You're definitely going to be keeping things in perspective and in balance, but you're closed up, but you're just very protective of your heart. Look at that. Blocking around the chest area, ready to swing that pentacle, spin it off into, into somebody's face if they try to cut in too deep with your privacy. I feel like you're just pretty much like very selective very picky over this weekend. Um, now, does Virgo have anyone in their heart at this time that they're comparing them to? New people to? I don't know why I'm asking this. It just came up. Oh, you're keeping something to yourself. Could have a Leo. There might be some kind of breakup or separation with Leo or maybe another Virgo that you're just trying to maintain your strength and positive disposition in regards to. So I don't know what's going on with you, Virgo. Like, I don't know if you're, you know, um, if so as, as far as like the last reading, the separation, if you are um, separated from someone, you maybe you're thinking about dating or you know leaving your options open seeing what else is out there but you might be sabotaging yourself a little bit as far as going following through with finding um or welcoming new love meeting the one maybe you have someone that you thought was the one and you're not ready to let them go that could be the case 
you're trying to be strong but you're also with that hermit yeah i don't know virgo i kind of feel like you're on your own here just trying to maintain some strength for yourself um, you might be just kind of i feel like some of you are just skimming the surface just seeing what's out there you may not be really trying to go any deeper i feel like you're maybe trying to suss out on saturday if there's anyone who is stable structured committed <laughs> or has it like is not a fearful of commitment and consistency and that kind of stuff okay yeah you're looking for something real that's for sure and you're not in a rush and i feel like that's why you're being picky because you don't have to rush if you know those who rush can't be picky they just grab and go <laughs> like smash and go smash and grab <laughs> Some of y'all out there with the smash and grab dating, it's like, and then you're like calling me like, why aren't things working out? And I'm just kind of like, did, did you even like get to know the person? Like, did you figure out if this is even someone that you're compatible with? And I'm not, I'm not knocking those of you who call me. I totally understand. It's not most of you. Most of you have serious issues, stuff going on, but like, take your time, Virgo. I personally like don't think there's anything wrong with being picky and selective i think though that the more picky you and selective you are the more you narrow things down and you don't really have much <laughs> options you know um but i don't think you should you should smash and grab <laughs> i definitely don't i feel like it's better to take your time to get to know somebody and I, maybe a lot of you virgos i guess are like that anyway i'm gonna take your time and get to know someone to just even see if somebody fits you um, like a glove and you like them, you like a glove for them. Um, yeah, so I feel like Saturday, the overall message is, you know, you're definitely going to have some competition for your attention and your energy. And while I do see you being a little bit selective and picky as far as that goes, um, I feel like you're definitely going to have... You're definitely going to have an, your options, but Virgo, I feel like maybe you prefer quality over quantity as far as relationships go. All right, so good luck on Saturday. All right, Virgo, now you have stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. All right, what's going on here? Oh, there's the Ace of Swords. Oh, we got some knives. They have some knives on the table. What's going on here? There's some truth coming out. Somebody's coming in here to give you some truth. Let's see. Oh, shit. Somebody's been patiently waiting to tell you the truth, and it's not going to be nice on Sunday. It doesn't have to be a person. You could have a like a light bulb moment. Um, you could have a spiritual wake up so to speak a spiritual light bulb moment okay let's see you surrender to something some kind of truth where maybe you feel uh, like some some something was deceptive or waking up to your heartbreak and your pain let's see piscean energy there okay the chariot king of cups Hmm. The Eight of Pentacles. So the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Chariot, Cancer. The Hanged Man, Pisces. Something's happening with a water sign on Sunday. Um, this is strange because I don't, I can't, it's hard for me to um, intuit if this King of Cups is stabbing you in the back or if there's some truth coming out. Like, honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me. But all right, you know what? That's fine. I'm just going to give you the message. I guess maybe it'll make sense to you. Um, there's a King of Cups who has a, a goal. 
who's who's got who wants progress with you okay masculine or feminine and this person is going to um surrender and change their mind regarding some kind of work or effort okay so they may tell you i hate to give this message but they may say to you that they were hoping to make something go forward but they're changing their mind and they may have to let you down and that might be because they feel um they can't deal with the separation um or they they can't deal with the heartbreak or the pain due to the separation hmm it's it's kind of like this person is saying um it's too unbearable to be away from you so i'd rather just not be with you at all wow that's tough that's a tough thing there okay i mean why not just change it for the better but yeah i don't know what's going on there let me see now it makes sense geez there's the three of swords i feel like that's really the message this person they can't be with you for whatever reason and so because of that they're not going to try they're not going to put in the effort and they're going to stop putting in the effort so i don't know what happened if something might have happened on your end uh, maybe you did something or that because there's um, some type of argument or separation they might just be like you know we can't you know maybe it's like a reconcilable differences for this person okay sunday's a sunday i don't know virgo Just hoping that's not the case for you okay you might get angry you might tell them the queen of swords you might tell them that there's so much potential between the two of you and that there's love there and that you love them. Let me see here. Oh, okay. So if it feels like you might tell this person that you do love them, but every time you offer the love, they keep pushing it away or they become indifferent and it seems like they don't want it. But are they blaming you for that? Are they are they blaming you for why they're saying no? That's not fair. That's kind of what it feels like. And that you're not interested in anybody. That you want to be with them. But they keep denying it and not letting that the, the relationship move forward. But then they've got the chariot, which is progress and putting in the effort. So what is this issue here? This person feels, now they could also be an air sign, but this person feels like you're deceiving them or that you've done something to them. And Virgo, did you do something? Seems like there needs, it seems like there's a misunderstanding and that there needs to be a conversation. Did Virgo do something to cause this person to not trust? Oh, there's a chariot again. We have two chariots in this deck. Seems like both of you were heading, heading towards each other and were going like in alignment, progressing, wanting the same thing. Trying to make something happen here. Hmm. They might have thought you were talking to somebody else or others and trying to have progress with others and trying to manifest some kind of love relationship. I feel like this person might be a little bit insecure uh, or doesn't have faith or doesn't trust. Or they might be super sensitive and just really like their mind goes into the gutter at the slightest thing. 
that's kind of what I feel like. I mean, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, I guess, with this person. So you could, you know, you could be outside petting someone's dog and they get jealous. Maybe there's jealousy, but there's backstabbing and betrayal. Um, so it looks like, yeah, maybe there was, if, if someone was flirting with you and you flirted back or you were flirting with someone else, but it was innocent, there, there, there's this, you know what, I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to push back. I'm going to, so this person gets defensive about something here. So Saturday, there's some type of communication around this, surrounding this, or Sunday, excuse me, surrounding this. Will they, spirit, will Virgo and this person try to sort things out? Will there be communication to try to clear things up? Oh yeah, look at that. Page of Swords. Absolutely, there will be. There will be um, seeking to understand Oh, hold on. Okay, seeking to understand what the what the deal is, really trying to gain clarity. Page of Swords is a card about curiosity. It's like, tell me, tell me, tell me what happened. Explain to me. Don't just cut me off. That kind of thing. So Sunday. If I keep saying Saturday, I'm sorry. I don't know why I do that. Maybe for some of you, the energy will start like Saturday evening late. But yeah, this energy is definite. I feel like there will be a talk, communication. Um, some kind of um, conversation about feeling left out in the cold or abandoned um, or the struggles that you and this person have either you telling them that or they say that to you but there is like this why are you why are you doing this why are you leaving me why do I'm it makes me feel ill someone says if I feel sick about this yeah so there is gonna be oh, yeah look at this nine of swords so a lot of anxiety and stress and then I feel like, you know what, Virgo, I feel like the outcome, it's actually going to be okay. I feel like there's going to be a conversation and a lot of truths are going to come out because that's what the Ace of Swords is. That's overcoming obstacles, being honest, opening up, talking about thoughts, ideas, communicating. Um, I feel like there's two people here that, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship or a sibling. There could be separation with a sibling or something happens or someone feels st stabbed in the back about something. I do feel like you guys will talk about it. At least if someone, there's not going to be any ghosting and there's not going to be any like disappearing. There's going to be an actual conversation. And it's not going to be the best conversation, but I feel like because you're going to open up this can of worms, there's going to be an opportunity to heal this kindness will flow in sincerity understanding peace joy happiness and you guys finding like a common place to um find the love that you both like you know uh, p peel away all those layers of anger and frustration and get to the core of of the heart with the two of you so yeah it looks <laughs> sunday looks like it's just not all unicorns and rainbows it's definitely going to be some obstacle to have to deal with but i do feel like you guys will work it out so have a great weekend everyone and i will see you all back here on sunday all right take care hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.